Hello one and all and welcome to Sinful Gaming. This is the second video in my tutorial series. I'm sorry I haven't been able to give you many, um, but I don't know, I've been working and as you can probably tell my voice I've been a bit ill. However, I'm going to try and bash out as many videos as possible to you guys and then we can start getting into some of the, uh, some of the more advanced stuff later on. But that being said, this is actually quite an advanced tutorial. Anyway, today we're going to learn how to port forward. Now, this is going to be more specifically on a Windows 8 for anyone running with Virgin Media, but it's pretty much exactly the same with no, no matter who you no matter who you're with, the uh, <coughs> the ports I'm going to show you to forward they should work on almost every. Uh, router. If they don't, then by all means, I'll give you guys a website later so you can find out what your ports you have, what ports you have to do on what um, uh, internet provider. Okay, uh, one more thing I want to cover as well is uh, just a little problem people have with the past video. Okay, so let's go to our Gmod thing. See, look, I still haven't touched anything, so we are still just got this basic server here. Okay, now one thing I wanted to make sure was that people were pressing the start bat and it wasn't coming up as the watchdog. It was coming up as still a TXT file. Now, what you've got to make sure, I am I think I already had it on. Yeah. If you go over to view on your uh, on your explorer in your folder, then you need to click this name extensions part, otherwise you're just going to pop up like this. So, for those people who are having problems with that, you might have just had it unticked. So, it's probably start.bat.text, if you know what I mean. But yeah, you need to make a .bat file, so then we can actually run it through command prompt. Sorry about that. If you're having problems running command prompt, just make sure you're doing it as an administrator. Um... Gmod, right click, oh, right click, run as administrator. Um, yeah, I had someone saying that they couldn't do it because, uh, like, it doesn't have that kind of file. Then you might not have been running it on Windows. So for anything like Ubuntu, Linux, or Mac, I do not, I probably couldn't help you as much there because I. I don't know, I don't know. Right, anyway, let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, now then, the reason why we port forward, if we go onto our server, start the watchdog, and let it just do its thing. Okay, now currently it's saying that this is all our bit by here. Ooh, one minute. What map have I got? Apologies, let me just see what map I have. Oh, I actually got rid of my maps. Okay. Um, right. Give me a quick second. Okay, there we go. Right, we've got a new map. Now, I couldn't find GM Construct, so I'm going to look a little bit different to you guys. So, whilst I'm quickly here, I'm going to show you how to just change a map when it comes to doing your uh, your server. Now, here we have the map which I'm using for... Uh, for a new game mode that I'm trying out at the moment, uh, the map is just uh, Last Refuge or something like this. I'm currently uh, using their map, except mine's slightly edited. Um, okay, so all we do is we'll just copy the name. So that the BSP part, just copy the name, close our watchdogs down, go to our start BAT, edit it, and here change the map part and paste that in. Save. Close. Easy as that. And now when we start up our watchdog, where is it? There... no. I don't know where it is. Oh, it should already be on there. I'm not too sure. Or it'll load up now. Right. Now all this stuff here, this this all like no physics model, that's actually fine. That's just showing that there's, uh, there's no like, there's no physics put to one of the props on the map. So we, we don't need to worry about that. But yeah, 
here we all are, so at least we know it's on. VAC Secure is activated. If we go to our local network, Sandbox, my badass Gmod server, in Refuge, if we go to that right now, then I am going to be the only person who's going to be able to actually connect. Um, if we try and get one of my friends to connect on, they will not be able to. Okay, um, right, we've just loaded in. Uh, so here's my map. Um, if you can notice, I'm just talking to someone, so I can see if I can try and get them to show you that they won't be able to connect to the game. Okay, so let's just uh, quickly jump over. Try and join my game. We'll even send them an invite. There we go. So I've sent an invite to someone, however, it's on my own uh, server with nothing like this so this is what they'll currently get not responding okay the reason why they're not responding is because this is purely a private server so this is a completely land thing if someone was sat next to me on the same internet then they could join my game otherwise they can't so what we're going to do is we have to port forward. So we'll just disconnect from that. And if you can see as well, they didn't even pop up on the the command, the the watchdog. Okay, we'll leave uh, Dave there. Okay, right then. So as I said, this is just purely for um, Virgin Media at the moment, but it should be the same no matter what you do. Okay, right. So firstly, you want to find out what your um, what your modem's address is. Um, usually if you go to here and just be like what's my modem IP stuff like that, most modem address, anything like this it'll pop up. Um, oh wait, yeah I could do that that way. Even <laughs> This could be a better way to do it. So if we go to our command prompt command prompt type in IP config into your commands here is all your details for your internet. Okay. All right. Uh, pardon me. Sorry about my nose. All right. Now this part here, the default gateway, that is your address to your modem. So, if we go to Google Chrome or any other web browser, and we type in this number here. Now, with me, I've already got it done up. 192.168.0.1. That should be the one for majority of Virgin Media uh, modems. But yeah, if you go here, it'll take you to your modems homepage. Now, with me, I'm also running the Superhub 2. Your hub password should always be, it should, by default, uh, should be on your. Um, on your router if you've changed it yourself and obviously yeah you know what it is but you log it to your <coughs> log into your um your router now with virgin media we have to go to advanced settings and port forwarding now someone else I'm not sure what that could be but it should be around about the same lines. Alright so here we have our defined rules as you should have already done something for Terraria for when I was playing with a friend. Now, these just basically means who can access and get through the the router and all this kind of stuff. Blah de blah de blah. So for these next, now I'm not going to try and tell you that I know what these uh, port ranges mean or anything like this because I honestly don't. All I know is that they work. Okay, then. so what we're going to do? Start off. Sorry, my nose is horrible today. All right, so Gmod. One, because we're going to end up adding about a one, two, three, about yeah, about three different ports. So, Gmod one. Our starting port will be three four seven eight, and our end port will be three four seven eight. Protocol will be both. Now our IP address is the last number on this IP four address by here. Okay. So, for us, that's 18. It's our first rule done. Fantastic. We are one bit of the way there. For Gmod 2, 
It's four three seven nine and four three eighty. No. Now same both and the IP address stays the same. And now our our last one is start port two seven zero 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 and two seven zero five zero. Same and same. Okay. And that should be it. So these are our ports that we had forwarded. Right then. Now we click apply. Yeah. And now we can give it a try. So head over to our um where to go. Oop dear. Head over to our Gmod folder. Start.bat. Close that down. Okay, now right for now for this I'm probably going to need to redo the uh the map actually. Damn it. Okay, for the purposes of the video I have just had to redo the map and get it back to GM Construct. But hey, at least you guys know that it's there. Okay, so GM Construct should be on there now. Uh if you go to the top of the map, yep, we're on GM Construct. If you see secure mode activated, we've gone my badass GMod server. We'll get to Dave again. And here he is. Client Dave Aiken is connected, and we also have his IP address as well, so we can see his IP, and we can't do that for <laughs> privacy reasons. Nah, I joke. Um, I don't care. But uh, and here we go. It's joining. So if I just get my server info now, and I can actually connect, we'll be able to see. Dave in the game. Now keep in mind if you keep having to uh, restart your router or you have to like re-log um, re it and all this kind of stuff, reset it then your IP will change so to get past that you need to have a static IP. Now I don't have a static IP because I end up using uh, dedicated servers and all this kind of stuff but for when you don't have those this will be your one true love. Okay, here he is. Here's Mr. Dave, who hasn't exactly loaded into the game. Uh, there he is. But um, but yeah. So now, oh shit. So now people can actually join your game. That was a beautiful shot. Ah. Anyway, this has been a t what the f this has been a tutorial on how to. Uh, okay, never mind. This has been a tutorial on how to port forward with Gmod. So now anyone will be able to join your game. But keep in mind, you do need a decent internet connection. Otherwise, when you start hitting about, usually over about, for me, I get a bad, I start lagging a bit if I get about 30 odd players, but that depends really on your internet. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, and stay tuned for more tutorials. Toodles!